of growing concerns about the deadly coronavirus officially hitting the U.S. The United States has, in the last few minutes, gone over the 6,000 case mark. Now nearly 11,000 cases with 150 deaths. Confirmed cases reached 51,900 as of Tuesday afternoon. The death toll in the U.S. now surpassing 1,000. Pandemic with more than 19,000 people now having died here in the United States from COVID-19. 700,000 as of Friday as of evening. today, all but a handful of states have issued stay-at-home orders in an effort to keep people safe during this pandemic. Why Residents in Kansas City, Jackson County, Missouri, Johnson County, Kansas, and Wyandotte County to stay at home when possible starting Tuesday Texas morning. State Parks and Historic Sites are now temporarily closed. Oh, stores <laughs> are temporarily closing. So it is temporarily closing. It will be temporarily closed. Temporarily. Or temporarily. 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 Temporarily closed. There are two words that could summarize what we are in right now. Maybe even for the entire year of 2020. And that would be temporarily closed. For a majority of people's lives, it exactly summarizes their experience. The definition of temporary is lasting, existing, serving, or effective for a time only, not permanent. I think there's a major phrase in that definition that stands out to me that just sparks some hope. Not permanent. As Isaac Newton said, what goes up must come down. I believe it's the same vice versa. There will always be growth. There will always be progress. Things will be better. We don't know when, we don't know how, but we do know they will get better. That's just how humans are wired. No matter how shitty things are, we always find a way to improve and innovate. So use this state of non-permanency to focus on something else, whether it's using your creativity to your utmost potential or getting home renovations finally accomplished. Or going for a run and reconnecting with the nature around you or spending that much needed quality time with your own family, whether that be via online or in person. In essence, this temporary event in history could be used as a means of reconnection, not only physical reconnection, but spiritual reconnection. Use this time to make the best of what you got. As the old saying goes, when life gives you lemons, make lemonade.